It's Randy Orton. Oh. Oh. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Speedlane now here, and today quickly. Um, go over my predictions for this uh, Payback 2016 card. Um, I'm doing this as of Tuesday, so just after Raw. Um, so there are seven matches on the main card, one pre-show match. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, so let's kick off with the uh, pre-show match. Um, so that'll be Kalisto taking on Ryback for the US title. Um, I'm going to go with Kalisto here, I think. And they're clearly positioning Kalisto to be a fairly long reigning US champion. They obviously want him to be the kind of next uh, successful Latino star, uh, luchador kind of thing. Um, so I think they're going to obviously want to build him up um, with the US title. Uh, I just don't really see Ryback getting the US title. I don't really see what he could do with it. Like, he, you know, they gave him the IC belt last year and that didn't really go very, very far. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go with Kalisto to retain the title here. Uh, next, we'll look at the Intercontinental title match between The Miz and Antonio Cesaro, or Cesaro, I should say. Yeah, I'm still... Uh, nearly two years on, I'm still saying frickin' Antonio Cesaro. Anyway, um, I do like the fact they brought Maurice back as sort of uh, Miz's... Uh, not manager per se, I guess kind of valet, in a way. Um, but I do quite like it. I think Miz is definitely in the kind of perfect role that he should be in. Like, I really like Miz in that kind of mid-card heel role. Um, I think he does that very well. Um, I think people don't give the Miz, the Miz enough respect in, in that sort of sense, in my opinion. Um, Cesaro, I've been... No, I've, I've, I've always been a big fan of Cesaro. I always really liked him. Um, you know, I mean, I, would I like to see him with the IC title belt? Yeah, sure, I would quite like to see it. I think he could maybe have some really good feuds with that belt. Um, but unfortunately, I don't really see him holding the belt. I see probably the Miz retaining um, due to some sort of heelish shenanigans. Probably a Maurice involvement in there somewhere. Um, and hopefully this means bigger and better things for Cesaro. Because I'd really like to see him maybe get into that main event scene. Because I think he definitely can hang. He can definitely hang in terms of in the ring. And, you know, he's definitely over with the crowd. Like, they really love Cesaro. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think um, Cesaro has potential to be in the main event. But as for this match, I'm going to go for a Miz Retain. Uh, next, we'll look at um, the Tag Team Championship number one contenders match between Enzo Amore and the Vaud Villains. Uh, really nice to see two NXT teams get to the final. And how both of them only just pretty much shown up on the main roster. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that these two that these teams are in the finals. Definitely puts NXT in a kind of... Uh, good light. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Vaude Villains to become the number one contenders. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I think they're probably going to... I think they will give Enzo and Cass the belts eventually, but I think they're going to save it. And I think they're going to want to have a feud with the Dudleys, uh, with Enzo and Cass. And I think maybe the Dudleys will come out and cost um, Enzo and Cass the opportunity to become the number one contenders, uh, meaning that the Vaude Villains will win. Um, how do I think the Vaude Villains will do on the main roster? Honestly, I think I don't think they'll really do that well. I think, to be honest, I think I just don't really see their gimmick getting not necessarily getting over, but I don't see the people who, like who are in charge of the main roster, you know, and booking and that sort of thing. I don't really see them being huge on the Vaude Villains or knowing what to do with the gimmick. So I'm going to go with the Vaude Villains to win this one, um, despite what I think they probably will end up you know, not being utilised that well in the future. Um, I think, ne okay, next match we'll look at Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. I think this is a pretty straightforward one. Baron Corbin, I don't really see Ziggler winning this one, I think. They're definitely building up Baron Corbin. Um, he's definitely that classic kind of WWE guy. You know, he's very big. Um, he's got the look as well. Um, I'm not going to lie, I think Baron Corbin's a guy who's really grown on me over over the, you know, the past couple of years, I think. You know, at first... I like, you know, as a baby face, I liked his gimmick of defeating people quickly, but it did kind of get stale over time, and that showed. And they did do, do, do the intelligent thing of turning him heel, and that, you know, at first I wasn't really digging him, but you know, he's really developed his character over time. I like that thing of him kind of hating smaller wrestlers. So kind of Fubu Ziggler works here. Um, that end of days finish is wicked as well, and also even though I don't, know if, I don't think it's his finisher, but I do really love that deep six move. I think that's an awesome move. Um, but anyway, I think Baron Corbin to go over here, and he's definitely going to be 
built up um, for the future, I would say. So I think a win over Ziggler would def definitely do him a world of good. Uh, next we'll look at um, the women's championship match uh, with Charlotte versus Natalia. And obviously we'll have Ric Flair in the corner of Charlotte and Brett in the corner of Natalia. Uh, this could actually be a really good match, actually. I'm really looking forward to this. You know, they've had some great matches before. One that comes to mind is the um, NXT uh, match they had uh, back in 2014 for the NXT women's title. Um, that was a really awesome match. Uh, but Flair and Brett were in the corner as well for the... And, for that match as well, funnily enough. Um, but I think Charlotte will go over here, I think. They've made Italia look really strong going into this match, and usually when they do that, that mean and you know make the champion look vulnerable, that usually means that the champion will retain. And I definitely think they're going to have Charlotte hold the belt for quite a while. Um, they're making her kind of that heel champion that people want to see lose. So I think that's, you know, they're definitely doing that very well. And I just think... Um, I think Charlotte will go on to you know feuds with the like of Sasha and that sort of thing, and maybe one with Bailey later down the line when she eventually comes up to the main roster. Um, so I don't really see them giving the belt to Natalia. Um, even though I do like Natalia, I think you know she definitely does deserve a run with the belt in the future. But I think I'll go with Charlotte. Uh, next, we'll look at Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. Again, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, there's you know there's definitely um, some history there in terms of you know their feud on NXT and that sort of thing and how you know they, these guys have wrestled together on the indies for years and years um, so that's definitely a good story that they can tell in the ring and uh, I think it can definitely be a match of the year contender I think these guys can definitely put on a great showing as for who do I think will win I'm going to go with Sami Zayn he's just come onto the main roster he definitely needs some momentum you know um, he did lose Chris Jericho which I'm not too mad about but I do think he needs to kind of uh, get some wins under his belt, um, some major wins. I think one against Kevin Owens would definitely do him a world of good. Um, and I think, you know, on, I mean, I don't know if this is no, this is kind of me applying logic with NXT, but on NXT, Owens did get the better of him a couple of times. So I think it would be good to see Sami Zayn get some redemption over Kevin Owens. And I think that would be the best story to tell. I mean, unless unless they're going to have more matches, which is a possibility actually. And, who knows, but maybe Kevin Owens will win in the sense, because usually to continue rivalry as a heel wins, but I'm still going to go with Sami Zayn here. Uh, as for the next match, it, we will look at uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho. Um, and I'm pretty sure uh, that Dean Ambrose will go over. You know, I think this is definitely kind of more of a kind of filler feud for Ambrose, in a sense. I think hopefully they'll put him into a more uh, higher, higher main event uh, feud. Um, whether that's with Reigns later down the line or you know whoever, um, but I really hope they do do that. Um, and I think Ambrose is going to win. They, I, I think Ambrose kind of needs to win here. I think that loss to Brock. Um, I, I wouldn't say. I, I definitely think those two losses to Amber uh, to, to Triple H and Brock did probably hurt him slightly. He definitely needs to win a you know a fairly big match, and I think this is where Ambrose really needs does need to win. So that's why I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose to win here. Um, and that's pretty much all of them, except for, obviously, uh, the main event, which is Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. Like, I'm actually really looking forward to this match. I think, um, you know, these guys can definitely pull off a really good match. You know, Ro Reigns, I think, gets too much stick in terms of his in-ring work. I definitely think the guy can go in the ring. You know, he's proved that with the likes of the matches, you know, with Wyatt and Lesnar and, you know, that sort of thing. So, you know, I think they're definitely capable of putting on a great match here. Um, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns to retain. And I'm actually going to go out and say that the Bullet Club, so uh, Anderson and Gallows, they actually turn on AJ. I think that there's... I think it just... It's it's just... I think it's the they're kind of making it as if, oh, you know, AJ's on the side of the Bullet Club. You know, they're going to... Um, they're going to help him at payback or whatever. And, you know, AJ's like, oh, no, don't help me. And I think what they'll do is I think they'll turn on AJ and side with Roman Reigns. Uh, and I think that would actually be a really good thing because that would kind of cement Reigns, I think, as a heel, which I think needs to be done. I don't think Reigns is connecting as a face like the WWE wants him to. And I think kind of maybe starting a heel faction with these two guys um, would be definitely do, do him a world of good. And, yeah, I think I'll go with Roman Reigns to retain here. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already... Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.